Cheers to all my fellow champions. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> How'd that get there? <laughs> nah. Honestly, this is the first time <laughs> that I'm watching my film. I haven't touched it at all, except for the video that I've already posted, just because there's been a ton of mixed emotions going through on my mind after this happened. Winning Golden Gloves has honestly been more humbling than it has been anything. Because I've seen some guys there that would mop the floor with me as of right now. So with that being said, ever since this whole entire tournament ended, I've just been going even harder than ever because I refuse to lose. I know what it feels like to win and now I know what it feels like to lose as well. So let's get it. You gotta come out first. That's one thing that my coach has been hammering into my head throughout all my training. The more you show your opponent that you're not afraid of them, <laughs> the more they're gonna respect you <laughs> and not do a bunch of crazy shit. It's, it's so crazy how there's so many things that correlate in between life and fighting. Like, it's, it's just mind blowing to me. Because I've noticed that like, even in the real world, like let's just say the corporate world, like at a job, you have to show people that you're not afraid of them and that you are a man of your word or else people are just gonna walk all over you and they're not gonna fucking respect you. You have to make people respect you and make people treat you a certain way. Right after that jab landed, boom, he's wide open. It's just what was fucking with me is he switched to fucking unorthodox. He switched to the left-handed fighting style. So that was kind of confusing me at first, even though my coach was just telling me like, yo, shoot the right hand straight down the pipe. I was still like, fuck, <laughs> what the fuck do I do? Oh, God damn. But yeah, I messed up there. So I got bopped, but we right back at it.
shit felt amazing <laughs> just landing that shit flush bruh that shit felt so good i'm not even gonna lie i got a lightning rod on me i got a lightning rod <laughs> yo man shout out to the fam man you know what's crazy is until they started saying that stuff I didn't even know that they were there. I knew that they were coming, but I just didn't know where they were or when they they, they were gonna get here. Like, it was crazy. But then once I heard them, it was crazy. It was like, a switch was flipped. And I was just like, bro, <laughs> I'm winning this motherfucker. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm winning. <laughs>
yeah, that right there is definitely something I need to work on. It's just bringing my jab hand back to my fucking face. <laughs> Cause I got smacked right there. I'm not even gonna lie. I got smacked. My fucking head went like that. What? what? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Part of it was me just being lazy, but also me just being a little bit tired. But we're gonna work on it. It's all good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know you enjoyed the action, but I need you all to show these warriors some love one more time. The winner of this competition will go on to compete next Saturday at 2 p.m. The judges, they have a 3-2 split decision for your winner, boxing. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who supported me on my journey and everybody who came out to show the support in person and people just showing love on the socials. You know what I'm saying? It really goes a long way. Hard work forever pays. It's time to work. Let's get it.